going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farm Top Dolls Black. Today we've got 20 PC mods in testing. We got 10 console mods in testing. With all those 31 mods were released today. We've got a new DLC releasing tomorrow. A2 Studio talks about the enclosed semi-trailer. Agritono's got a new UTV. Casarius Modding teases a self-propelled sprayer from Case. Ada Modding's got a bulldozer. Slusha's Modding have an update to their John Deere planter. Miyoto Modding are almost done with their John Deere planter. FSH Modding have new picks for the Sun Cut Pack. AAA Modding have a thing. I don't I don't know what it is. Farmer Mod who updates us on the old productions pack. Chava previews his next map, Shamburg Valley. Farming agency are gonna be taking a break. Plus, White Bomani have a new screenshot from their next map, Rich Park. Let's check it out. In test day 4 pc we have Bezbacalo, Bison Z058NH, Case IH1830, Colored Light Pack, Calshed 3 Plus Zero, Airshelt, Ford Cargo Series Brazil, John Deere 750A, Joskin 1900D, Liquid Manure and Manure Storage, Lizard Kill Us R, Lizard KS1000, Lizard Pack, what? Medium Hall, Metal Fact Manure Fork, New Holland CR690, Pottinger Boss 1T, Swinniaki, T150-0509, and Trans Transport Trailer MD. In test D4 consoles, we have the Average Garage, Bucks County PA, Rowers Farm, Jen's Wood Crusher, John Deere 6010 Series, Lizard Semi Granel 10,000, Lizard SNPC 108 Disc, Lizard Triaxle Log Trailer, NML Placeable Pack, and Polish Greenhouses with Tomatoes. With all that being said, we still have 127 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods is four work days. In addition to the mods and testing, 31 new and updated mods were released today on the in-game mod hub. I've already made a video showing these off in detail and you can find that video linked in the description below. Tomorrow, the new DLC for Farming Simulator 19, the Grimmy Equipment Pack, we will be releasing. That is Tuesday, January 26th, 2021 for all platforms, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, Mac, and Google Stadia. The DLC will be $4.99 USD and will be free for those of you that have purchased the Season Pass. If you play on PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series, it will be working just fine for you as well. Good news for all of you potato enthusiasts out there. Pepe978 and Team FSI Modding, a giant software, will be releasing the official Grimmy Equipment Pack made by the winners of the Mod Contest Special Award from Farming Simulator 17. Team FSI extends Farm Sim 19 with 14 new machines and one new building that we found out dedicated and specializing with potato harvesting. Pre-orders are available now at the link in the description below and the DLC will be out tomorrow. You'll be able to purchase it that day. I will be doing a full day of release breakdown video tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And I'll also be live streaming today with the creators of the DLC. You won't want to miss it. Today, the TLX 9000 update was released for all platforms, but there was a piece of equipment that was not released. That is the TLX 48 foot enclosed trailer. He says, apparently, the description was not accurate enough, so he's had to develop it a little bit more and talk about what an enclosed trailer is actually used for, but he has submitted it back for testing. He said he also took the opportunity to include an extra present for you guys. Wonder what it is? Stay tuned. Agritono's got something new for us today. They said, now it is the UTV's turn. It's in modeling, says missing some grids and some details, but it is being developed right now. They didn't say anything else. Nothing else was mentioned. What I can tell you is most everything that Agritono makes comes to all platforms. I do not suspect this will be any different. As you can see, this looks to be modeled off of some type of uh, Razor, Polaris type of thing. It looks similar to that, at least. Uh, maybe it'll be no brand at all together. Probably going to be a Lizard brand, let's be completely honest. Nonetheless, this is kind of neat. Now, we do have, of course, a few things like this in-game already. But hey, I'll take it. Casarius Modding also say a lot with very little today, saying, boom, progress. More information soon, eyeballs. <laughs> They're talking about their Case Ice Trident 5550 self-propelled sprayer and spreader. Well, what is the progress? More information soon. Well, let's take a look here at this picture. Let's zoom in just a little bit. So you can see right here, we have our sprayer unit that has been attached. We've got the tank on here. You can see the render looks absolutely phenomenal. Hopefully it looks this good in game because this is absolutely stunning. Otherwise, we got really nothing else. We just see the sprayer unit on here uh, in models for the first time. Very cool. Ada Modding's working on something new. He says a little cousin to the NMC D11 Dozer. The very early stages, uh, stages of this are being done right now in Giants Editor, but it looks really cool. Even Jake Sinclair says D5.5 Dozer. <laughs> That's pretty cool. No other information, unfortunately, is known at this time. But hey, 
cool. I'll take another bulldozer. Let's go. Solutions Modding has sent off an update to their John Deere 7000 planter. They say they've sent it off with some corrections and also with some color options now being able to be selected and you can use it with new colors for the fertilizer tanks. Neoto Mining also show off a John Deere planter today, their CCS 2113. They say the CCS 2013 and all your planting options can be found right here. Models with fertilizer, seed, models with seed only, and tractor with less cavalry. Not really sure what that means, but probably less power. It's been a little while since we talked about FSH modding. They worked on the Sun Cutback, and we actually have one of the models already in game. And here you can see four models in this. Oh yeah, they say the Sun Cutback is ready. They're gonna be testing it this week and next week. They say everything's 10 megabytes total, 600, and they're gonna have the Sun Cut 676, which is the smallest one on the far right, the 687, which is going to be the one on the far left, and the one on the inside right is gonna be the 10, 6, or 1076, and the one on the middle left is gonna be the 1276. I assume that is six row, eight row, 10 row, and 12 row, or could be meters as well. They say everything can be colored and you can change the colors up however you want. Working speed is 10 kilometers per hour or six miles per hour and we'll have variable hanging points. AAA Modding have some new pictures of their Hurry A Super FS19. They say coming soon. This looks to be uh, maybe, <laughs> not exactly sure what this is. I know they're working on some stuff for a new Sugar Beet uh, pack, not a DLC by any means, but they're working on a Hurry A Score uh, potato or Sugar Beet pack kind of thing. I think this is gonna work with it. I really wish I knew more about this. It looks really cool. What do you guys think it is? As we announced last week, Farmer Manu has an update to their No Man's Land Productions, aka the old Productions pack. And one thing that's very interesting with production packs and things like that is they don't really work with seasons, at least not well at all. Well, Farmer Manu has found a way to make it happen. So he's updated it to work with seasons. He says that the pack is in-game, working with Seasons just fine. He does recommend, if it, if you're gonna use it with Seasons, once it releases on No Man's Land, he recommends six day Seasons to get the closest to running the pack without Seasons. So do keep that in mind. That's pretty cool. Farmer Money, I appreciate you sending this stuff over, man. Today's Shaba is gonna be previewing their new map, Shamberg Valley, which has been made for all platforms. Unfortunately, I'm actually making this video before the preview goes out. The video it's going to be on his youtube channel i will have it linked in the description below go check that out hopefully by the time this video is out that video will be out as well we hear from the alien paul and model liker today creators of the maze plus extensions and maze plus mod for pc they say with all the toxic stuff going on at the moment model liker and myself will be taking a break from modding and having some fun playing our mods doing some multiplayer streams and just calming down we really need that thank you guys for your patience watch our videos we'll be back soon and we will have to wait for some patches and better hardware prices. We will use the time to refill. And lastly today, a new day, a new picture from Richport from White Bull Modding. New American map that they're working on, as you can see right here. We see what looks to be either the main house or just a house on the map. Nice and small, it's not too massive. You can see through the windows, which makes me think there will be an interior to this. Uh, White Bull Mining are known for doing interiors on their houses, on their maps. I don't think this is going to be any different. You can also see they've got the dog house in the cage right there on the right, too. That's pretty funny. And they're showing off their JCB UTV there, carrying around a bell as well. That's pretty cool, man. I'm excited about this. But unfortunately, I'm never excited about the end of these videos. Just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There are no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when anything is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. I'll be Zap. Hope you have a great day. We will see you later. I wonder how many comments are going to be, DJ, your hair!